Assalamualaikum and hi to everyone. Thank you for watching this video. So in this video, I would like to share you to share on how to solve this kind of question. So the first question is referred to the uh, this transition. Draw the graph of an RZL scheme using each of the following data stream, and assuming that the last signal level has been positive. You are given a data stream, so based on the data stream, you need to draw or come up with the NRZL scheme. So in NRZL, 0 is positive, 1 is negative. So let's say you have 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1, 0, 1. So 0 you put at the negative level. This is your baseline. Okay. 0 put in the positive level, 1 put in the negative level. So it will be alternately positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, negative, positive, and negative. Okay, the same goes for the question number B. You have 0, 0, 1, 1, 0, 0, 1, 1. So 0, 0, positive, positive, 1, 1, negative, negative, positive, positive, negative, negative. So in this uh, part, you should know how to draw uh, the graph based on an RZL scheme, based on AMI, uh, based on the Manchester scheme. Okay. For the next question, okay, the example, calculate the bit rate for the given bit rate and type of modulation. So you are given the bit rate and the type of modulation. Okay, for E, you are given the bit rate is equal to 2000 bit per second and the modulation is FSK. So the solution for E in FSK S equal to N. S refer to the bit rate, N refer to the bit rate. So if N equal to 2000 bit per second, therefore S also equal to 2000 baud. So the bit rate and the bit rate are similar. The same goes for question B, 4000 bit per second using the ASK. So in ASK, S equal to N. So the answer will be 4000 baud. Okay, the next question is based on the multiplexing chapter. Uh, the question is, four channels are multiplexed together using TDM. So if channel sends 100 byte per second, and we want to multiplex one byte per channel, find the size of each frame traveling, frame rate, frame duration, bit rate, and bit duration. So first thing you need to get the uh the mean uh the main issues in this question, identify or highlight the important thing. Okay, the important here you have four channels. And you want to multiplex together using TDM. So each of the channel send 100 bytes per second. And you want to multiplex 1 byte per channel. Okay, so based on that information, okay, you have 4 channel. Each channel contain 100 byte per second. You want to multiplex 1 byte per uh, channel so when you want to multiply multiplex one byte per channel so that's mean uh, this part one by one by one by one by so you have four channels when you multiplex one byte together for four channel in your frame size you have one byte from channel uh, source one one byte from source two one byte from source three and one byte from source number four so total here in one size of a frame, in one frame that you multiplex together, now it's content of four bytes. So four bytes here, one byte equal to eight bit. So now you have four byte. So eight bit times four. So it's equal to thirty two bits per frame. So in your frame you have thirty two bits, or you also or you can say you have four bytes per frame. So size of 
a frame is equal to 4 bytes or 32 bits. That is the size of frame. Then you need to identify how many frames that it will generate. So each source content of 100 bytes to multiplex together 1 byte per uh, session. Okay, so that means one 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 frame. So it has hundred. So uh, logically, it will have hundred frames. So the frame rate is hundred frame per second. How to find the bit uh, frame duration? One over the frame rate. So frame rate is hundred frame per second. 1 over 100 second. This one is the frame duration. Okay, next, how to find the bit rate. So, the bit rate, you refer to number of bit in a single frame. So, one frame contains 32 bit. One frame, 32 bits. Now, you have 100 frame. So, 32 bits uh, time with 100 frame. So, total of bits that you have right now is 3200 bit per second. Then, how to find the bit duration? 1 over the bit rate. So, the bit rate is 3200. So, 1 over 3200 second. So, this is on how you identify the frame rate, the frame duration, the bit rate, the bit duration, and identify the size of frame. Okay, next question. Show the contents of the five output frames for a synchronous TDM multiplexer that combine four sources sending the following characters. So, uh, before this, the question asks for the bit stream. Uh, this question is about the characters. Okay, note that the characters are sent in the same order and they are typed. So the uh, the third source is silent. So you have source one, source two, source three, and source four using the synchronous TDM. So the first source a uh, message hello. Second source is hi. The third source nothing, and the source four bye. Okay, how to multiplex? So you need to draw again your multiplexing pie. Okay, first source hello, second high, nothing, and then buy. So, uh, you multiplex one character of each. So, the first character we send is H for source 1, H for source 2, nothing for source number 3, and B for source number 4. So, this is the first frame. Then, Calculate 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So the maximum frame you have is 5. So you just put, after you type H, then you type E. So you put E here, I, I here, nothing. So let's just empty. And then you have Y. So put Y here. So frame number 3, we have L here. So put L, nothing, nothing. And then you put E. Frame number 4, L here, and then nothing. Well, uh, frame number 5, uh, O here, and nothing. So this is on how you show how the process of multiplexing those sources. Okay, next question. The figure shows below. So the multiplexer in a synchronous TDM system. So each output slot is only 10 bits long. That means 3 bits taken from each input plus with the 1 framing bit. So what is the output stream? The bit arrived at multiplexer shown by the error. Okay. So you have 3 sources and you want to make a frame together. You multiplex 
30 bits per sources and then add with one framing bit so how to draw or choose this uh, process okay first you need to identify that each output slot is only 10 bit as mean in one frame only 10 bit the maximum number is only 10 bit cannot be more than 10 bit so 3 bit taken from each input so that's mean you take this one this one this three three bit three bit three bit multiplex together and then add by one bit that we call as the framing bit so how to show this file okay so based on the question sources want to multiplex three bits for each sources in one frame so the first frame you have one zero one so one zero one the second source we have zero 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 you put zero 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 and then you have one 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 the total is nine add with one framing bit you can put either zero or you can put one if you put 1 here, the next frame bit is 0. If you put 0 here, the next frame bit is 1. It must be alternate together. So easy to identify. Okay, so this is your first frame. So the next frame, take another 3 bit here. Another 3 bit here. And another 3 bit here. Plus with 1 framing bit. So this is your frame, frame 1, frame 2, frame 3, and frame 4, frame. Okay, so that's all uh, for this video. Hopefully you're able to understand on how to do, uh, to solve the, that kind of question. Especially on the multiplexing, on how you want, you can multiplex together. Uh, the data from several sources so that's all for this video thank you and assalamualaikum